right, now let's talk about some of the solar, and then I can get into some of the this stuff even further. But um, especially on the connection side, which I haven't really gotten into, on the solar, um, what happens is you've got obviously on the roof you got solar panels. You've got on the back of each panel a positive lead and a negative lead. You can hook your pu your panels up many different ways. In other words, you can hook them up positive to positive, negative to negative, um, all the way down your uh, your your string, um, and um, that would be basically allowing you to increase the amp, the amps, uh, combine the amps between all the different panels, keeping the voltage the same. If it's a 12 volt panel, the 12 volt stays the same. You're just combining the amps when you're you're going positive, positive, negative, negative. Um, or combining it in parallel, as they say. That's what I decided to do right now. Later on, I'm going to combine uh, the voltage when I get a better charge controller. Um, but anyway, for me, uh, it made more sense for me right now anyway to just combine. You, you, it's the same thing, obviously. Amps times volts is watts. So if you can combine the volts and leave the amps the same level, or you can combine the amps and leave the volts the same level, you can get the same number. It's just there's some practical reasons why people, it's generally better to combine the volts. It's more efficient, I think, but I'm doing, I'm combining the amps from, from my end for a few different reasons. But anyway, needless to say, at the end of the day, you're going to have a positive and a negative um, lead that's going to come out. It's going to be combined on your panels up uh, on your roof. Um, their panels are connected with these MC4 connectors. They're super easy. They just click together. You don't even have to, you don't even have to crimp them or what, you know, do anything special with these things. You just literally plug and play. It doesn't get any simpler. So once you get those things mounted, you're going to have a positive negative lead. You got to have some kind of a disconnect box. This is my solar disconnect box. What this does is your positive um, lead coming in and your negative lead coming in um, go through this box and then your positive out and negative out come out of this box you don't see the wires here because obviously I've got them all behind my board here to make it clean but you're gonna have a positive and a negative out so your positive and negative in positive and negative out this is a pullable fuse once I do that I just killed my power for my um, solar. I've got no solar coming in. In fact, you'll see my watts right now coming in to zero because I just pulled my fuse, plug that sucker in, and now we got power again. So that's the purpose of obviously the disconnect is if I want to start working on my equipment, um, you got to pull this. You got to you got to disconnect your load so you don't electrocute yourself. So it's a safety situation. So um, you should also have one of these disconnect boxes accessible on the outside of your house for any um, uh, utility people that if you know they're working on the lines, they need the ability to disconnect your box so they for safety reasons. So they don't so you're not feeding the grid while they're trying to work on it and um, you electrocute alignment. So obviously you should have one of these on the other side of the house as well. Even if you have an island protected grid tie inverter, you still should have one as a safety precaution and it's required by um, the uh, code. So anyway, that's your first component. Your positive and your negative are going to run through your disconnect box. And then they're going to run out of that disconnect box and continue on. In my case, those continue on. Now they can go, obviously, to the battery to charge your battery. And then you can run off your batteries. Or you can take that power and put it into the grid. Through This is just a little plug-in grid tie inverter, which I've used. So um, I can put it into the grid. Um, now... Um, what I've set up is a um, this is just a transfer switch. Um, in fact, let me start a new video, and we'll continue on solar part two.